is Captain Harold Quimby. He has been a commercial airline pilot for 28 years. He is before a board of inquiry who will decide in the next few minutes whether or not he is still fit to continue as a pilot. That is why this man is a man under pressure. All right, this hearing will now come to order. Now you realize, Captain Quimby, that the purpose of this hearing is to determine whether you will be allowed to continue flying. Our decision, of course, will be final. Is that understood, Quimby? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How did you get into this business, Quimby? Well, I just love to make model airplanes. I suppose that was the first thing I did. I, I just love to make them, and like a, any normal child, and I got excited. I read a lot of aeronautical magazines. And for Relax, you know, Quimby. All right. <laughs> All right, you're flying. I'm trying to. It's not easy, sir. I mean, I do this the first time in my life I've ever been called up one of these, one of these darn things. How long have you been flying? Huh? Uh, Forty-one years. How old are you? Uh, Forty. Uh, Forty-one years. Forty-one. Forty-one years of age. I see. All right, Quimby, here's a sample situation. Let's see how you handle it. Yes, sir. You're flying at 25,000 feet. The right starboard engine flames out. Your oil pressure is dropped below 2,500 cubics. What's your first move, Quimby? Well, the uh, first thing I would turn automatically to the co-pilot and get his reaction. The co-pilot? The co-pilot. Co co-pilot, man, the assistant, the man that uh, would take two of us. Right, how do you do that? It takes two to tangle, right? Well, it's the same thing in the air. Yeah. I would turn to him and, and, and ask him uh, if he could help me because it's not always up to me. I'd certainly never ask a stewardess. Come in. Yes, sir. Do I smell whiskey on your breath? Well, I had a drink coming over, and I, uh, I love it with you. I love it with all three of you. I drink, yes, yes, always to and from uh, the airport. Not while you're flying. Never while I'm flying, no, sir. No, sir. I've turned around and stared. Are you swaying a little? Yes, a little. Yes, I'm terribly nervous. Uh, I thought for a minute it was a quake. Uh, Grimby. <laughs> Grimby, on a recent flight from Los Angeles to New York, you were flying a Jet 707 and you never landed. No. Now, what became of that aircraft, Grimby? <laughs> Gave it to my boy. Can you take your hat off a moment? Yes, sir. You dye your hair? I did for the dance, that was all. I understand you had quite an unusual reaction to your tetanus shot. Yes, I did. What was it? My head swell, uh, started to swell and, uh, and then went into my feet. I was almost scheduled to be in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Perhaps you can explain this. Yes, I'll try to. You were on the New York to Chicago run last week, and you went 600 miles off course. How come? Yeah. Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Cliffy. Right? We call it a Canadian goose, and... Uh... Taste for liquor. Let's just make sure and place a glass of whiskey and gin in front of you. How does that affect you? Look over there. 707. <laughs> I was kidding. What happened to the whiskey? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe somebody. I, I was kidding. It was just a, just a thing. I, did you think it was? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, I didn't try to do it. I'm not flying now. Right, I'm not flying now. Give me a phone, will you? What are you guys? What is this? Come some kind of communist trial or something? I'm just a normal American pilot. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? 51. How old? 38. How are you nervous, Wimmy? Great. Ah. All right, Wimmy. What? What's your favorite view when you're flying west? Just the whole thing. Everything in America. Give us a sample of what you say over the intercom when you fly over the Grand Canyon. Sure, you can't understand it, but you can tell me it's scared me to death. <laughs> How old are you? 31. Uh, Let me supposing you're in foreign and mid flight, that one of your passengers is about to have a baby aboard. What would you do? I really don't know offhand. Not being a doctor, I'm a pilot. I think I'd go probably circle for an hour and hope that you got over it. <laughs> what does the phrase. What does the phrase, fasten your seatbelts, mean? It means nothing to me. I haven't been able to get one around me for years. <laughs> Why, it means, you, of course, you know what it means. Uh, it means uh, it's part of our safety program. That's uh, Article 16, page 48. Well, would you excuse us a moment? Hmm. Sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you can hear. Yes, sir. Captain Quimby? Yes, sir. We've tested you and put you through your paces? Yep. We've decided to let you continue flying. Jeez. 
pleasure. As a stewardess. I'm 62 years old. I'm not going to shave my legs, gentlemen, for anyone. 